This is Ritesh Srinivasan and welcome to my channel. In this video, I would like to share my framework of how do I learn data science skills from Kaggle competitions. Okay, so I have a Kaggle account and I log into Kaggle and I can check the competitions. So there are different competitions over here. So over here, what I do is that I search for certain competitions like say, uh, some of the research competitions, right? So let's look at what research competitions are there. So I search for some of the research competitions and then I look at whether, you know, uh, what area does this come under? Is it like image segmentation, image classification? For example, in this case, I'm interested in image classification. It says identify crop varietals. Okay. This is sorghum 100 cultivar identification. So like this, I, you know, try to narrow down to one of the competitions over here. And these are knowledge competitions and some competitions are for prize money. Okay. So then I look at that competition. I go to the competition page, right? And then I try to look at the overview of the competition. Here I try to understand what is the competition problem statement. Okay. So in this case, it is some kind of uh, image classification. Okay. Because over here it says that, uh, you know, if you look at this thing, cultivar identification. Then I try to understand about the data set. Okay. For which I go to the data tab and then I try to understand about the data set. So when I'm looking at the data set, if I don't understand some terms, for example, here there is a term called cultivar. Okay. So then I Google for that term and then I try to understand what is that cultivar. So cultivar means a subspecies and it is produced through artificial selection. So I understand that part. Then I understand what is the core challenge of this data set. Okay. Which you can find in the data description itself typically. And here they say that, you know, uh, it is about this data set has 48,000 images, 100 different varieties of sorghum. And, you know, there is a high interclass visual similarity between the different classes as well as high variability in the imaging conditions. So what is the challenge over here? The challenge is that you have to come up with the image classifier, right? Where there is, you know, 100 classes. Okay. Plus, you also have this challenge that almost all, all classes look very similar. There is interclass similarity is very high. Okay. And you also have the challenge of lighting conditions in the images. Okay. So once I understand this problem and this is a competition which has been, you know, it is actually completed and uh, 24 days ago. So then obviously people would have provided solutions and uh, you know, if you go to the leaderboard, you can find scores and so on. But what I look for is that I go to the discussion and then I look for, you know, what, how have people solved this problem? Okay. So here you look at people have explained first place, second place, third place solution. So then I look into, you know, this uh, uh, post over here for first place solution. And when I'm looking at the first place solution, if I go to the post of the first place uh, solution over here, uh, you know, that person has explained some summary, but not much details, but then I get details in the third place solution. So I go to the third place solution. And if you look at this particular post, I see that the person has explained the challenges of the data set, the model and a certain loss function being used over here. When I look at it at a very high level, and if I understand some of these terms, fine, I'll read through it. But if I don't understand, for example, I don't know what is arc phase, then I search for those terms and then I try to understand about those terms. Okay. I get an understanding of arc phase. Now, why is arc phase very important? So over here, uh, you know, this person has actually explained that uh, in this competition that uh, the challenge is fine grained visual image classification, high similarity between classes. Okay. So ordinary softmax loss will not help over here. So you can use arc phase. Then I try to understand what is arc phase? How is it different from softmax? What are the advantages? Okay. So that is what I try to understand over here from this post. Okay. From this third place. And then about, you know, what kind of pre-processing was done. So here the person has used something called clay. Then I try to understand what is that? Right. Suppose I don't have understanding of what is class, then I need to get an understanding of what is that. Then I try to understand that concept. Okay. So it is some kind of histogram equalization. Okay. It stands for some kind of adaptive histogram equalization. Okay. So I try to understand about that concept, right? Then about the network architecture. So in this way, I try to understand new concepts, which I am not aware of. 
right and in this way i try to improve my data science skills and then possibly once i have some understanding of these concepts i go look for whether some person has actually people have shared their notebooks right so if you look at the code people would have uh, shared their notebooks and here they have used different architectures for example this is about efficient net v3 somebody would have done with efficient net v2 and so on so i try to look into these codes uh, somebody has done an eda exploratory data analysis on this data set to understand more about the data set so from these notebooks i try to understand how actually you can create your notebook to do some kind of classification on these images how you can come up with your classifiers right and in those classifiers how do you uh, make use of some of these concepts which have been explained by the others in terms of the winning solutions right so this is the framework i use to actually learn more from kaggle competition so i look for competitions first under a specific area then i look what is the challenge in that competition is this something which i'm familiar with is it something which is new for me for example in this case this is a really challenging problem because there is this high interclass similarity and uh, you know lighting conditions challenges there so this is a typical computer vision problem where lighting condition challenges will come up right and this is also an additional challenge of high interclass similarity so these concepts are new for me so i try to then learn these uh, new concepts like arc phase uh, something like uh, histogram equalization somebody who's been an expert in computer vision may already know this so probably for that person arc phase may be new somebody who's been in this field for a very long time may know all these things right so depending upon that individual uh, you know your skill you can actually learn from these competitions and uh, i try to typically look at those competitions which have been completed because i don't have enough time to participate in some of the competitions which are running currently but if you have the time to participate in those competitions which are running currently you can also do a similar approach by you where you can search how people are approaching the problem and then you can start from that as a base instead of from scratch and then improve the solutions okay so i think uh, this framework of how to search for a competition of your area of interest understanding the problem uh, statement understanding what is the challenges in the problem statement understanding the data description then looking at how people are approaching the problem or solving the problem understanding the concepts over there and then practicing those concepts by your own code will help you in improving your uh, data science skills i hope this video is useful for you if you like the video please like share subscribe to the channel see you in another video happy learning